HP spots a friend of his flying at L1. Now he's going to pay his pal a return visit just to tease him a little. Look at that. HP has quite a sense of humor. How to win friends and influence pilots. He's in his stride now, riding that Bronco. Adios. There will now be a brief pause while HP makes up his mind what to do next. No sooner said than done. A nice flip over and he's on his back again. Ah, high tension wires. HP's favorite outdoor sport. Watch him make a bolt for the voting. Well, hold on to your horseshoe, HP. What a close call. Yup, he's heading for that highway. He sees a sucker down there driving a car. He's gonna give that citizen a few thrills. HP can do better than that, so he's going to practice up by riding down the fence and flipping those hills. Oh, we get it. That's where HP's girl lives. Seems mighty proud of her hero. And now, back to his normal position, upside down. And touching things off with a nice, slow roll. Of course, it's just possible that HP is showing off. The girlfriend is all the flutter as HP flies through the air with the greatest of ease. but he's a great boy for gilding the lily. So, he's gonna come back a diving and a rolling. Too bad. He had a bag full of luck. But luck is precious stuff. You've got to use it sparingly. H.P. Showoff was a great pilot. Yeah, he was. He didn't have a chance, Pete. Doing acrobatics at low altitude is a fool's business. It is now 1,300. 1,300. Not that anybody's going anyplace. Well, I'm going somewhere. I'm way past due now. Got to be getting back. I hate to admit it, Joe, but I'm all steamed up about this safety business. I hope a lot of pilots are steamed up. So long, Pete. Oh, Joe, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Pete, I almost forgot. Thanks, Joe. I wish we could get your brand up here, but deliveries. Priorities, I guess. Well, I'll be shoving off. So long, Joe. Oh, don't forget my housing problem. And keep after those pilots.
Now look, fellas, let's face it. This is our business, safety and flying. That's what we've got to concentrate on every second we're in that plane. Okay? Okay. So let's get on that beam and remember. Remember your checklist. Don't touch that throttle until you've checked every item. And form one. Read it twice, like a love letter. And you won't find yourself taking a dive for that eight ball. Now about stretching a glide. The fellows up in pilot's heaven feel this way about it. Never stretch a glide. 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 Yeah, that's a golden rule. Never stretch a glide. And before I forget, Mr. Oil Temperature Gauge. Remember him, the fellow with the last word. Never take off on a cold day until I'm plenty warmed up. Take the hint, fellas. Learn and live. On the matter of damage to your plane, always report it. If your landing gear is haywire, report it at once to your operations officer. Don't do a McGuire and sabotage your best friend. Carelessness is sabotage. Negligence is sabotage. In war, there's only one place for you to be, on your toes. Remember that when you make a landing. It's all right to relax, but remember, as long as the wheels are turning, you're still flying that plane. Remember pilot nonchalant? Now listen to him. You haven't made a landing until the wheels cease rolling. Your job is to kill the enemy, not yourselves. If you want to be among the living, watch every instrument, every gauge, your carburetor gauge. Check it constantly and it won't ice up. And here's something else, the airways bulletin board. Good pilots remember, others. To stay alive, you've got to act alive. Don't carry your daydreams into the cockpit. No one but a dope dopes off. Like Joe Pilot with a silly puss. Dreaming about last night's date, you do a lot of things. Like forgetting to lower your landing gear. Learn and live. If you don't, you won't. And you won't if you fly into bad weather against orders. If you can't fly on instruments, remember. Always remember one of the most fundamental rules of safety. If you see the weather closing in, then make a 180 degree turn and head back. And we go all the way back to Adam and Eve for this one, forbidden fruit. But the pilot's forbidden fruit is not an apple. It's acrobatics at low altitude. Remember H.P. Showoff, the pilot that does anything for a thrill, including breaking his own skull. <laughs> Just remember that if you're thinking about acrobatics at low altitude. Now all you fellows with propellers in your pants, don't think that what you've just seen doesn't apply to you, because it does, every one of you. There's no rule in flying safety that you can ignore. Here's what your commanding general has to say about it. Pilots and aircraft never seen over Burma, Berlin, or Bataan are daily being lost. Unfired guns, unused bomb racks, these are being lost not in enemy lands, but in the quiet American countryside. Pilots, crews, and airplanes must be delivered to battle, not left in smoking heaps in cornfields from California to Maine. Yes, that's the way our commanding general puts it, and he means it. The responsibility is yours. Fly with safety. That's your number one job. Fly with safety. Remember it. Do it. Thank you.